Hey everybody, welcome to this first Wired Wednesday. Today, I'm going to show you video.ai. It is an AI video processing platform that will take any YouTube video or videos that you upload and it'll create them into a TikTok YouTube short style one minute video breaks that video, larger video down into different chapters, as well as potential shorts and sections, and allows you to customize and edit. This is perfect for your classroom, adding into uh, Google Classroom specifically, and having your students engage with the content you want them to see on a way that they are comfortable with consuming content, uh, because as we all know, TikTok and YouTube Shorts and even Facebook Reels uh, really, really get a lot of views and you can put a lot of great content within one minute. So perfect for that. So I'm going to show you how that works. So you just go to video.ai and then you can sign up for a free account. You get 75 minutes free every month for this. There are paid versions too that give you some more features as well as more minutes for upload. In this case, I just need to sign in since I already use this and I'll connect it with my Google for sign-in. So here you can see your home template area. This is all of the videos you have. So every video that you create, you do have the ability to uh, go back, grab those. So you can see in a previous clip we've used for Facebook, if I select that. So you can see here, we can look at the different shorts that have been created. It will also break it down into different chapters, which is always beneficial too. If you're looking at creating uh, potential chapters for students to view, you would get those timestamps automatically created. Let's go ahead and just grab a uh, YouTube video, just any YouTube video out there. We take the URL. In this case, we're doing World War I, the short version. And this video is only about eight minutes, but this would be perfect for a history classroom, world history classroom. So let's take that, go into here, and we'll select import video. We'll hit paste and start import. Now what's going to happen is it's going to take about five-ish minutes. Sometimes it takes a little longer depending on the traffic on the website, but, it is now processing it, so it's looking at the uh, audio within the video. It's creating text overlays, and it is finding what are the best short sections. So let's go ahead and take a break while we let this video process, and we'll get right back to it. Five minutes later. All right, now you can see that this video has been processed, so let's go ahead and click on it. It's going to load and here we can see it has created six different shorts that we could use and download for a classroom so let's go ahead and check out uh, the origins events so the 541 to 638 mark finally in the trenches both sides use toxic gases that cause many casualties so I like this this is uh let's go ahead and edit this one and you can see in your edit tools that we have the ability to move the video around uh, in the frame. We can also change it over here in different template styles. So maybe I don't like that version specifically for this template, but this one looks fairly good. So I'll use that. Over here, you can see where you can enable this cut magic. Uh, it's for clips less than three minutes, but it is a good way to track the cuts and scenes that you've done with the AI, as well as doing some uh, a uh, little more in-depth editing. Over here, subtitles. You can select how you want it to work. Here you can select the effect color. So if it's highlighting here, maybe I want to do a green. Nah, we can play with that. See what it looks. Uh, we'll just go standard white there. And then let's highlight the words. So when we hit play, so you can see that it's highlighting the word in white, so we'll probably want to change that, make sure it's a little more usable. Well, let's go with the yellow. There we go. I think that looks good. Then you can also change how it's going to load there. Now, this is very important. You're going to need to be going through and checking the wording in here. It breaks it down where each one is. It doesn't do very well on things like proper nouns, sometimes places, uh, or specific things. So always verify your video, edit it, and more importantly, make sure things are spelled correctly, especially if you are giving those to your students. And then here you can change the different text. Over here, if you wanted to, I use this for social media a lot. You can upload uh, your logos or brand logos and then anything else. 
Over here again for text, this applies to the full clip. So you can change this. Maybe you want to retitle it. You don't like the name of it or you want it to be more specific as well as styles again. Here for the background, you do have the ability to use some stock backgrounds. Maybe you don't like this red version here. We can change this over to gold. Uh, this kind of triangle synth wave style, I guess would be the best way to describe it. And then of course you can uh, do this, but this is an upgraded feature. When you are ready to download the clip, all you simply do is click download video. It's going to create it as a 720p file, click confirm and then it will download in the background. Now another great feature too is maybe the short that it snagged for you is off by a few seconds that's happened. You do have the ability down here, you can edit your uh, time from which it's snagging the clip from. And that's it, that's video.ai. It's a super simple service, really easy to use, great way to engage kids, especially on online platforms like Google Classroom and uh, perfect for re-emphasizing points. As well as, you know, sometimes in class we have the, the YouTube video we only want to show the like single minute to two minute portion of. Great way to easily clip this down. Uh, as well as students can use this too for content creation, which is an interesting way to, to think about it. They could develop the entire video, shoot it, and then come back in and create like the YouTube short TikTok style to engage more with and then give those to the, their classmates. If you have found this episode of Wired Wednesday helpful, well then definitely subscribe, hit that like button, and come back for more of this content because every Wednesday we'll be putting out a new and different uh, online or potentially physical item that is used for technology in the classroom. Uh, but let me know in the comments section what you thought of this video below and if there's anything that you think other teachers can benefit from. Thanks for watching.